Elisa Ashton, congratulations. Absolutely flying here at the seniors. Your smile says it all. You're really enjoying this, aren't you? I am, yeah. To hear and play like I am over everything. I'm smiling because I'm so happy. Look, the 18 months you've been through, we all know you've had health issues and everything mm. like that. How nice and pleasing is it to come out the other side and you're starting to flourish again? Definitely, yeah. All they can do is encourage me what I'm doing and, and relieve of everything. But yeah, I'm happy to just do what I'm doing and I can't believe it, yeah. During the last 12 months especially, when you haven't hit the heights that we know you're capable of, how frustrating is for that yourself? It's been so hard because you've always got pressure and everybody expects you to do what you do. I try my best and I've struggled, but now hopefully after everything and I get fully fit, I can hit the heights I have done. Into the final day of action here, are you not daring to dream of adding that seniors title to the other four stars that you've got? Right, no pressure. <laughs> but no, you've got to. You, you ain't coming here for nothing. But no, I'm going to do every game as it is and hopefully I can keep going and fingers crossed. You never know. When you look back to Lakeside even this year, to where you are now, it's been a massive jump because did Lakeside come maybe a little bit too soon in that healing and recovery process? It did, yeah. I went there just to... Probably thing is just win a game, just to see what I can do after what I've been through. So yeah, uh, to come here and, and what I've done, I can't rest for anything better. I'm so delighted what I'm doing. And looking ahead to the rest of the year, obviously the women's game in particular, you've got um, the match play on, on the horizon, getting back to Alexandra Palace. You must be excited by the opportunities now for 2024. Yeah, definitely. I had to miss the last women's series. I was nearly there. But yeah, uh, it was a massive de decision with my family, my management. I had to have it done personally. But yeah, I know after we're taking this weekend, I'm getting there. So yeah, I'm setting my heights on for the everything what's coming forward. Blackpool in particular, we know how much you want to play well there more than probably any other venue because it's your your home venue. So is that maybe the number one target for you this year to, to go and win that? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's on my home turf. I've played there two times before. I've put too much pressure on. After now is I'm just going to go relax, play best I can. Hopefully I can qualify and do my best there. Is this the best the ladies game's been in? Obviously you've got yourself, Bo, Fallon, some of the youngsters coming through. Is this the, the best you've seen the ladies game strength in depth? Yeah, it was many years ago it was strength, but the strength what is going forward now is ridiculous. Bo's hitting everything. We have to raise our game to it ball now. And the, the, the youth are coming through. It, it's scary, but it's brilliant because we keep pushing and hopefully we all keep doing what we can do. Lisa, thank you very much. Thank you. Lisa, in terms of wins on TV in recent years, that's got to be right up there, isn't it? Definitely, yeah. I haven't done that for quite a while. It took me a long time to get a, a PDC women's title. But yeah, after what I've gone through, absolutely. Um, my uh, confidence is, is growing all the time, so I can't ask anything better. It looks really relaxed up there. How comfortable are you feeling on that stage? I feel quite comfortable, yeah. Um, the last times I have, um, I know what I'm doing, I'm pushing myself, my health, like I said, my health and, and everything else is coming to good now. So hopefully I can keep going and be fully fit. Could you sense that Scott was feeling it a bit out there early on and a couple of shouts from the crowd? Yeah, I mean, you get one or two shouts. It, they shunk out what they do. But yeah, I knew I had to just play my game. And the, the crowd have been brilliant, absolutely fantastic. Without the crowd, we can't get what we're doing. So yeah, they're pushing me forward. Hopefully they stay the rest of the weekend and they keep going with me. Chris Mason or Manfred build up for you in the quarterfinals. Do you sense a big opportunity there? Yeah, it's every game's a tough game. Whoever I play, it's no games are easy. And every day is different. So hopefully I can just play my game and keep going strength to strength. Yeah.